hello and welcome to my channel today we are going to realize a purple look we're using the new chanel full collection now um, this blush on me on on deeper skin tone will not look good i saw one video here i will link her channel uh, in the description or up somewhere uh, french for a day i think it's called the channel and um, she kind of explained how is the best way to wear this blush and it kind of it is kind of the blush that you have to work for it and uh, not in reverse so i will link it for you to go and watch it because i know for sure that this will not look good on me no matter how much i will work for it um i am not a cool tone person so yeah this will not look good on me but i will pair it with this one from uh, the summer collection which i actually love and like very very much this for me screams autumn and it's more suited for like fall collection than this one but yeah it is uh, not up to me it's just my opinion so i'm going to try to make a more kind of purplish lavender kind of look to see more cool tone uh, using uh, the two eyeshadows from here from this uh, palette i'm going to take this lavender shade from here the brightest one um, and i will apply that all over the lid now i do have already foundation on my face because i'm testing i'm doing a wear test of this dior um, foundation stick uh, I do have a video on my channel trying this, but uh, I didn't have time to actually wear it to see how it looks on my skin. And now it's a great opportunity because here this part, my face doesn't look too good. I was traveling and every time I travel in different countries that will happen, uh, that will happen with my skin. Uh, it I will actually look um, and I don't know. Some changes will happen just because of uh, climate, temperature, humidity, uh, and so on. And I tried also to dress with a more kind of in the same tone uh, blows, just for the makeup to be uh, like, I don't know, pairing with my clothing. I'm going to take that shade under my eye also. So I know uh, Chanel also released with the full uh, collection, the uh, Lavender Mascara. I don't have it, I didn't uh, bought it. Um, but I think with that one also will, will kind of complete the look in a way. Now I will take this kind of a smaller brush and I will take this, uh, the other purple shade, which is more deeper. And I'm just going very, very close to the eyelashes when i first got this just because of this color combined i did like the palette very much and i still like it very much um but for this money you get four shades which are matte which for sure if i were search my entire makeup collection i can find similar shades in it of course it will not be all together uh but yeah I just got very enthusiastic just because I did like very much how the whole kind of uh, makeup look um, just makeup look on me with just using matte eyeshadow which I barely do on this day. Now I will take this blush and I'm just going to take uh, this color from here and I will apply it to my inner corner so you can see how much bright this is it's almost like i have nothing uh, to the inner corner let's say we are going to use these two shades the purplish one and then the color from the blush the lavender blush you will have something like this more like a matte situation uh which it's, it doesn't look bad let's say it's just not a vibe that i uh, would like to wear now what i would like to do is take this uh, blush duo from the summer collection and take a little bit of this highlighter which is actually gorgeous 
and I will pop this a little bit on the inner corner. This highlighter it's also subtle in more in a subtle way but when you shift and if there is sun or some artificial light it kind of have that luminosity and that sparkle a little bit so it will give that luminosity to the eyes at least in my opinion and how I would like it and it's kind of I don't know it looks a little bit better I don't know exactly um, I will just apply this blush first on my cheeks just to see how it will look by itself on the cheeks with this look and I'm deciding now if I should wear the blue mascara from YSL or just a brown mascara. Um, I don't know that blue how is going to interfere with this makeup. But yeah, you can see that by itself and I have to build up this blush. Uh, it is just something not for me. It almost... I don't know, it almost <laughs> pulling the same kind of vibes of this, more on the gray side. Um, I don't like it. For me, at least, I don't like it. Uh, when I see the pictures, I was thinking that it's going to be something different in a way. Uh, definitely, uh, it is a blush for uh, fair skin or light skin, uh, which is going to look good this is how it looks on me let's say with this kind of uh, more purplish vibes um, this is a no no matter how much i will try to make this work for me i don't think this will actually work i think i will apply mascara now i bought this because i do want to make a full face of tom ford and this mascara it is I think it's gone to my number one mascara. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Mascara. Uh, never try it. It is on like expensive stuff for a mascara. The page packaging it is very very heavy, luxurious. It is a black one. I think I will keep it simple with a black mascara. I don't want to add more color uh, because I do want to keep it purple and more on this kind of vibes that Chanel is trying to give us. This is how it will look on me. I do like it very very much. And surprisingly if we are talking about Tom Ford, the new holiday um, eyeshadow quad, it is available now in Sweden at Nordiska Kompaniet. Also uh, it was available at Ochlen but now it's out of stock and at Ochlen website, I saw so that they have like the blush and uh, highlighter duo. I think this is also, they are also new for the holiday, but that one also, it is out of stock. Uh, sometimes, I don't know if it's just out of stock, but sometimes when they are launching some new products, at least online, uh, they appear like the picture and everything, but you cannot shop until some point that they are actually on stock online. So it's kind of marketing or like pre-sale of the sale. I don't know how to call it. Um, but yeah, so I apply a black mascara. Now I look like a ghost. I'm just looking in the mirror. Uh, these colors on me uh, don't look good. Um, but yeah, I will take this blush and highlighter duo. I will take first the blush from here with this kind of brush. It's, it is more easy to take the blush color from here. And I'm just going on top of that. So I think actually if you are mixing this two, you will get a beautiful, more muted color than this one from here so if you do have both of this uh, you can pair them and use it use them and i think this one uh, yes can be used to kind of mute any kind of uh, berry plum or lavender shade that you have in your collection and you want it to blend it a little bit you can just add this it will be more like a lavender powder let's say uh, but being a blush uh, at least in my opinion. 
Now this blush, I love it very, very much. I've applied a little bit here. Uh, I applied a little bit of this brow gel from Anastasia. I do think that any makeup look looks better using some kind of uh, brow gel, even if you don't fill them or just do anything else, but just to keep them in place to look brush, it kind of changed the whole makeup. I will just take this highlighter from here and I will apply that on top. So you can see that this actually changes and how it shifts on the face. This looks beautiful. Uh, then a matte look with this kind of shine is just, I don't know, something different. And that's why um, when I told you that on the inner corner when I apply this highlighter also will look good. For this look, I also want to use some kind of plum lip liner and I'm going to decide which one of the new MAC bring back a lipstick I will use. So I will go with Anastasia lip liner in shade Raisin. I do have here the uh, two bring back lipstick from MAC. So one it is Bubbles and one is Haku and in my opinion I do think that Haku is going to be uh, the winner here uh, because this has some kind of purplish reflection on it uh, of course i bought this just for collecting them and of course you can i think use them as a highlighter but as a lipstick by itself i'm not going to use this so i'm going to apply a little bit of this on top of that lip, uh, lip liner So I think it's kind of complementing this blush. It is very kind of similar with that Chanel blush. This will be, it's kind of going, let's say I match the blush, the highlighter with the lipstick, uh, more purplish kind of vibes theme. Uh, which I like, the lip combo, I like it very, very much. I like also the eye makeup look. Even though it is not my favorite, let's say, or it is not something that I will go for it in my everyday makeup looks, let's say, routine. Uh, the blush, it is really nice with that highlighter. I wouldn't say it is kind of the perfect match between this lavender shade and this um, blush kind of shade. So probably if I were like to build more this color, I will use this from Petmograph. Um, I did a review of this palette um, and I was a little bit disappointed just because of the packaging. The colors in here, are, however, they, in my opinion at least, are meant to be used as a topper. And uh, this color from here, the whitish one, it does have this kind of whitish, uh, not whitish, the purplish kind of reflection with a little bit of pink. So if I were to transform this kind of look, I will probably use this one or maybe this one, a little bit tap with this one in the middle, just for a more sparkling look. And I think that one will actually transform the look. So I'm going to do that. Uh, even though I have mascara, I'm going to tap a little bit of that purplish from the new Petmograph uh, quad and I'm just going to add this on top of that lavender shade and you can see that this is like a beautiful topper and this will sparkle really really beautiful. So we moved from the whole matte kind of situation because this highlighter it is very subtle you barely see it if it's like you don't move or something it is barely there like the shine it is there but it is not how it looks in here i don't know uh, this is how it will look and this is probably how i will wear that chanel purplish with a more reflecting kind of stop on top just for a more sparkling look and I think this also transformed the look even better uh, now I will go also with this one on top of that purplish in the middle a little bit
and I don't know if the camera can pick up but this is transforming beautiful with this kind of shift and I also can add a little bit of that white on top of this highlighter let's say and I'm going to use my finger so I think the best way to use this uh, new quad from Pat McGrath is using uh, your fingers uh, I think you'll get the most payoff and you see here how this sparkle so uh, you can use this palette from Chanel the new fall um, quad you can use these two shades and then apply a matte lavender you can use this blush if you have it in your collection or any other more lighter lavender shade or you can just transform from this to this with a topper an eyeshadow topper that you have in your collection it doesn't have to be patmograph i'm just using this for you to show that this is actually a beautiful palette now <laughs> Uh, I still, I'm still disappointed just because of the packaging and it doesn't give the vibes of a Patmograph quad, let's say. But the quality in here and how this will look and sparkle, it, it is kind of the same vibes. Of course, these are not special shades, but still they will look beautiful on the eyes. And this shade, I think you can even use as a highlighter just on top. But yeah, I just wanted for you to see how... Uh, this will look all matte and using some kind of toppers, purplish or some kind of duochromes that shifts in pink and purples. Um, and I do prefer this uh, makeup look more. Uh, I don't know, somehow it suited me more this kind of vibe than this all matte. And it's going better with oh, the blush and the... Uh, highlighter duo from Chanel. This uh, kind of ended my video. Uh, it is a purple makeup look all over. I do like it how it looks uh, but not only using these two shades, at least not on me to use only the lavender shades and the purplish shades. Of course I could have used this more darkened purplish shade to deepen or to make a halo situation in here. Uh, but for me, for sure, I will use these two paired with some kind of uh, purplish or some kind of duochrome toppers on top just to have that kind of sparkle uh, on it. The blush, the lavender blush from Fall Collection, it is a no for me. It doesn't matter how much I will work for it. It doesn't matter if I will be all lavender, let's say it will not look good on me at all by itself it is very kind of even with this kind of short i don't have a lavender blouse or short uh but this will this looked on me like gray now uh it it didn't look good this is the main uh, point that it doesn't look good on me if it does look good on you if you can make it work it out for you and your skin type it's perfect it's good uh, but on me, it is a no. I probably, if I weren't to buy it for review purposes, I will not choose this kind of shade or any kind of shade that is purple pink for my skin tone. Um, and this one, this, I love it. I love combining together. I love using it by itself. I don't know if this bay kind of situation here, it's going well with the lavenders. Somehow maybe because it's kind of gradient we have a lavender then the blush it's lavender with a berry let's say because of that highlighter but that highlighter goes more into the pink purple and then I'm going to a more purple berry with some kind of reflection from that Haku uh, lipstick from MAC uh, but yeah in my opinion uh, choose the makeup that makes you feel good that you don't have to work for it that looks good on your complexion um, I know for sure that I will do that I don't like to kind of uh, choose a makeup and then sit and say okay I have to dress in certain point I have to match the lipstick and then the, just to make a blush or any kind of other product in that I have in my collection to work 
uh, it should be effortless in like for me at least and in my opinion uh, it doesn't work so yes for the quad from chanel yes for this uh, blush and highlighter duo this for me would be like for full and it will be suited for someone uh, more than fair and uh, light skin complexion let's say the lavender blush no at least for me it is a no if it's working for you if it does look good if you can make it work it perfect uh, but yeah uh, the lip combo i like it very much e probably if i uh, weren't filming this video and trying to see which will go with this i will not make this kind of lip combo but i do like it very much how it looks and also the toppers from petmograph even though the palette what it's not that uh high quality let's say luxurious and all the the eyeshadows i do like it very much so i will link in my description box uh what products i use on my face if you shop to my links it really helps my channel so thank you very much for that if you have any question or you want to do another makeup look or you have any other suggestion how um, i can use this lavender blush to make it work for my skin tone um i will be glad to hear it and i will try it um uh, but yeah that was everything for today's video thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye